Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn about diagonal matrix. Is this definition is easy or difficult? Actually, this definition is easy, but there is a chance that you will confuse easily. I'll avoid that confusion if you watch this video till the end. What is definition of diagonal matrix? We have three versions for definition of a diagonal matrix. I written all the three versions here. In examination, if they ask what is diagonal matrix, you write any one of these three versions. Okay. First, we will try to understand what is diagonal matrix. A square matrix in which all non-diagonal elements are zero. A square matrix in which all non-diagonal elements are zero is called a diagonal matrix. Non-diagonal elements. You observe this example. What are non-diagonal elements? See this 3, 4, 5 are known as diagonal elements. Whatever the remaining elements are there, they are known as non-diagonal elements. See the elements A11, first row, first column element, the element which is present in second row, second column, the element which is present in third row, third column. These elements are known as diagonal elements. Remaining all elements are known as non-diagonal elements. You just remember two points in this definition. Point number one. First of all, the matrix must be a square matrix. If the matrix is not a square matrix, it never be a diagonal matrix. Okay. Many students will say a matrix is said to be diagonal matrix. That is wrong. You should start with a square matrix is said to be diagonal matrix. It is important. Second point is what? All non-diagonal elements are zero. All non-diagonal elements are zero. If a matrix satisfies both the conditions, then we say that it is a diagonal matrix. You observe this B matrix. It is a square matrix or not? Yes. Number of rows equal to number of columns. So this is a square matrix. Second point. All non-diagonal elements are zero or not? Non-diagonal elements. You observe these elements. These are non-diagonal elements. Non-diagonal elements zero or not? Yes. The matrix satisfies both the condition. Then why you are confusing? This is a diagonal matrix. They are not saying anything about these diagonal elements. They are saying that non-diagonal elements are zero. So this matrix B is a diagonal matrix or not? Yes, the matrix B is a diagonal matrix. Why? First thing, it is a square matrix. Second point, all non-diagonal elements are zero, right? Okay, we will see the other version of this diagonal matrix. A matrix A i j of order n by n. See, this we learned in earlier classes about representation of n by n in itself indicates it is a square matrix. This square matrix is said to be diagonal matrix if a i j equal to 0 whenever i is not equal to j. A i j is an element present in i row and jth column. For example, you see this, this element, what is this element? This element present in first row, third column. Is i equal to j here? Is i equal to j? No. That means that element must be 0. And you see a 2 3, second row, third column. Where is second row, third column element? Here this one. See, is 2 equal to 3? No. 2 is not equal to 3. That element must become 0. The element a i j is 0 whenever i not equal to j. You clearly try to understand this point. They not mentioned what is the element a i j when i equal to j. We, they are not mentioned that. They are just simply saying that when i is not equal to j, then that element will be 0. That means whatever here I written in first statement, whatever is there in second statement, both gives the same meaning. Right? You see the third version of this diagonal matrix definition. A square matrix. First of all, it must be a square matrix. A square matrix which is both upper triangular and lower triangular. Then that matrix is called a diagonal matrix. To understand this, you must know what is upper triangular matrix, lower triangular matrix. What is upper triangular matrix? A square matrix in which all the elements below the diagonal elements are zero. So this is upper triangular matrix. Similarly, what is lower triangular matrix? What is lower triangular matrix? A square matrix in which all the elements above the principal diagonal are zero. Then that is called lower triangular matrix. So you observe this matrix A. This is upper triangular. Yes, this is upper triangular matrix as well as lower triangular matrix. So this is both upper triangular as well as lower triangular. You observe this matrix B. This is also upper triangular as well as lower triangular. Now you see about this matrix C. C is a zero matrix. Is this matrix is a diagonal matrix or not? 
Many students confuse in this. Very simple. You just remember two points. First one, it is a square matrix or not? Yes, you observe this matrix, it is a square matrix or not? Yes, it is a matrix of order 3 by 3, number of rows equal to number of columns. It is a square matrix. Second point, all non-diagonal elements zero or not? Non-diagonal elements only you observe. Forget about diagonal elements. You just observe all non-diagonal elements. All non-diagonal elements zero or not? Yes, if a matrix satisfies these two conditions, as per the definition of diagonal matrix, we say that it is a diagonal matrix. You see, this zero matrix is a diagonal matrix or not? Yes, it is a diagonal matrix. This diagonal matrix is also denoted like this, DIAZ, that, that represents diagonal. What elements are there in diagonal? In diagonal elements are 3, 4, 5. So, we will write like this. What this indicates? This indicates that diagonal elements are 3, 4, 5, all other elements are 0. This we can write like this. This we can write it as DIAZ diagonal 4, 0, 5. That means the diagonal elements are 4, 0, 5. And about, what about all other non-diagonal elements? They are 0. Now I will conclude. What is diagonal matrix? A square matrix in which all non-diagonal elements are 0 is called diagonal matrix. What you should remember in a diagonal matrix? Diagonal matrix is a square matrix. And second one, all non-diagonal elements in that square matrix must be zero. You forget about diagonal elements. Diagonal elements may be zero, may not be zero. I hope you understand the definition of diagonal matrix.